We have a coronal hole that's going to be rotating into the Earth strike zone here in the next few days with yet another one coming in after that. And a bright spot on the sun gives some good news for you amateur radio operators. Those stories and more in the news this week. Space weather this week picks up just a little bit. We have two coronal holes, one of which is going to be rotating into the Earth strike zone here in the next day or so. It could send us some fast wind and bump us up to storm levels, followed by a second one that could once again elevate us up to storm levels, so we could get a good chance for aurora this week. Meanwhile, we also have two bright regions that have been rotating onto the Earth-facing disk, and they have bumped up the solar flux levels. We are back into marginal levels for you amateur radio operators, so radio propagation exists once again, and you should have that for about the next week or so, and that's really good news all the way around. Switching to our M-Flare threat meter, you can see we are extremely low when it comes to X-ray flux, but back on the 10th, you can see it kind of rise a little bit. That's when we had that bright region return back into Earth view, and now we have two bright regions. One of them is region 2691, and that's allowed the, the X-ray flux and the solar flux to rise a bit. We are now back into marginal levels when it comes to radio propagation, so you amateur radio operators have got to be thrilled. And this condition will last easily for the next 7 to 10 days until these regions rotate off of the Earth-facing disk. Switching to your solar storm conditions, you can see the last time we actually had a decent solar storm was clear back at the beginning of December. Since then, we've had some close encounters with some fast wind, but the coronal holes were pretty much too far north, and so instead of getting hit with the fast wind, we just got grazed by it, which kept us at unsettled conditions and even bumped us up to active conditions for a very short while, and we've since settled back down into unsettled conditions, but we do have yet another chance for some storm levels here in the next few days when a new coronal hole rotates into the Earth strike zone. Switching to your solar storm conditions and aurora possibilities over the coming week, we are kind of in a lull right now, but we are anticipating that coronal hole to rotate into the Earth strike zone and will be sending us some more fast wind. So right about the weekend, we're expecting to reach at high latitudes minor storm conditions with about a 20 to 30 percent chance of a major storm. At mid latitudes, we're only expecting active conditions, but we do have a small chance for a major storm. It all depends upon how this wind hits us and how strong the, the wind is coming out of this coronal hole. And this period here going into the weekend and into next week is going to start an intermittent period of storming for us easily over the next week. Switching to your solar flare and particle radiation storm outlook over the coming week, everything is still in the green. I know I sound like a broken record, but this is the way it is for solar flares, folks, which is good news uh, for you amateur radio operators and you GPS enthusiasts because we have no threat for radio blackouts right now. The even better news is that we do have two active regions on the Earth-facing disk, which has bumped up the solar flux and put us back in the yellow, back into marginal conditions for you amateur radio operators. Propagation is hanging in there, and this should last easily for the next 7 to 10 days as these regions transit the Earth-facing disk before things begin to tank once again. So good news, and enjoy the quiet. So the space weather is finally picking up just a little bit this week. We have two coronal holes that will be rotating into the Earth strike zone, and unlike the previous coronal holes, these ones are a little bit better position to actually give us some storming at Earth, so your aurora photographers should be very happy because we have more chances for aurora easily in through this weekend and into the next week. Now your radio uh, operators are probably very happy too because we have two new bright regions that are rotating into Earth view. That means the sun is dialing up the brightness for you. But we don't have any threat for radio blackouts, so you GPS enthusiasts are also loving it because it's reasonably quiet. So. It looks like there's good news all around, and it's just another sunny day in space. I'm Tamitha Scove. Thank you for watching.